Hello everyone. Uh, now tonight I've got some uh, Blu-ray double features to show you. I already did one video on here showing me other double features. If you want to check that video out, it's on here under double feature Blu-rays collection. Um, so this is the rest of them. I'm not sure if this is absolutely all of them because I've just briefly went through my collection and sort of found them in that. I haven't got them all together on my shelf, you see, they're a bit uh, higgledy pickledy. So anyway, this is most of them, if not all of them. So let's get straight into it. Um, I can't talk that much about each one because the video is going to last an hour or more. <laughs> so I'll just basically pretty much show you them. I'll talk about some if I can. So the first one I've got here is a Region A import. And this one is Face Off and Snake Eyes. This, of course, is a Brian De Palma film, and this is a John Woo film, both uh, very good films, both starring Nicolas Cage, of course. So here's the back of that one. A few nice pictures here. I'll just show you the disc. Discs. It's on two discs. Each film's got its own disc. So that's that one. Face Off and Snake Eyes. Right, the next one I've got here is Crazy Stupid Love and Dinner for Schmucks. Um, also two uh, very good films. I wasn't happy with the I wasn't happy with the transfer on Dinner for Schmucks. I thought it should have been sharper. It looked a bit out of focus to me. It didn't look very uh, as clear as it should, you know. Um, the, I think the transfer on the other one was a bit better but I can't say for sure because I didn't watch it on the big screen I only watched it on the TV because sometimes when you watch films on the TV with the TV being smaller than when you project onto a big screen with a projector sometimes films can appear to be sharper than they actually are the true test is to watch them on a big screen and then you truly see whether they're how sharp they actually are you know what I mean so anyway, that's um, this is another Region A import, by the way. Um, and I'll just show you the back. So there you go, the same setup as the last one, the same layout as the last one, pretty much. Because these are both uh, Warner Brothers titles, and uh, both on their own disc again. There's the discs inside. So that's Crazy Stupid Love and Dinner for Schmucks. Right, the next one here is a Clint so double bill, and this consists of Firefox and Heartbreak Ridge. And I haven't watched any of these ones yet, so I can't see what the transfers are like on them. Should be uh, fairly good, I should imagine. Warner Brothers ones again, and this is another Region A import. And here's the back, the same layout as the other, the other two I just showed you. So I'll just show you the discs inside. They've both got artwork on. As you can see, so that's um, so that's Firefox and Heartbreak Ridge. Next, we have another Clint Eastwood double bill, and this one is Where Eagles Dare and Kelly's Heroes. I haven't had these ones on either, so I can't tell you yet again what the transfers are like. Um, but anyway, here's the back cover, and this is another Region A import, probably Region 3 though, would have been Warner, Warner Brothers. Yeah, most of theirs, in fact, well, I don't, know if they all, I don't know if they're all Region 3, but most of them actually are. Um, so there's the back, this one's a different layout, slightly. It's just got a couple of pictures there. And I'll just show you the uh, discs, both got some artwork on, as you can see there. So that's Where Eagles Dare and Kelly's Heroes. Next one I have here is a John Wayne double bill. And this one is True Grit and The Searchers. Now the transfer on this one, I watched it on HD DVD, but it'll be the same transfer. Um, the transfer on this one is absolutely amazing. Because it was shot on 65mm film. 
so the resolution is extremely high that's pretty much near enough like close to 70 millimeter film so the resolution on those ones is like really really high really sharp and clear and detailed and everything but i haven't watched the other one so i can't tell you what the transfer is like on that one and this is another region bay import warner brothers and paramount and there's the back and let me show you inside one of them's got artwork on the searchers but the other one hasn't so that's that one next one is a um, horror movie double bill two classic horror movies one of them happens to be my one of my favorite films of all time and this one consists of sleepwalkers and children of the corn i really like sleepwalkers quite a lot um, it's one of my favourites with Max and Amick and Brian Krauss. Or Kr I think that's how you pronounce it, Brian Krauss. Um, I watched that one when it first came out in the cinema in 1992 or 93 or something. Uh, I saw it at the Odeon on my favourite screen, Screen 3. The Odeon in Newcastle in Pilgrim Street. But that cinema has unfortunately been demolished now, as I've mentioned many times before in some of my videos. So I was really upset about that, but never mind, you can't do, do much about it, I suppose. And anyway, um, I really like Sleepwalkers, it's a really good film, it's got a lot of cats in it, that's for sure. And obviously it was written, uh, written? written by um, Stephen King, of course, in case you, in case you didn't know. Um, anyway, this is a Region A import, and I believe it's Region A locked, unfortunately. And here is the back. Uh, just a couple of pictures here and this one's also on two discs let's just the right way around here there you go i've also got i've also got sleepwalker separate on its own disc with its with, it, with this picture filling the full cover for full front cover um so um and i've also got it on dvd as well so that's Sleepwalkers and Children of the Corn on Region A import. Next one I have here is another sort of, well it's a horror comedy double bill, also Region A. I think it's Region A locked as well. This one is Love at First Bite and Once Bitten. Jim Carrey stars in there, Once Bitten. And I must point out the transfer on this one, I have watched it, I've watched both of these. And the transfer on Once Bitten is not very good at all. But then again, I, I did only watch it on a 720 pixel projector. But I now have a 1080 pixel projector. But I haven't checked it out on there. But the, the print just was terrible. It wasn't very sharp. It just didn't look very good at all, you know. Um, very, very poor quality um, print uh, transfer on that one, I'm afraid. But the other one was really good. Love at First Bite. And it's... That one should have looked a lot better because that's a lot newer film than this one. Six years newer than this one because this Love at First Bite was made in 1979 and stars George Hamilton. And the other one was made in 1985, I think, with Jim Carrey, like I said, and Lauren Hutton. But anyway, that's uh, Love at First Bite and Once Bitten on Region A Blu-ray import on the uh, Scream Factory label, Shout Factory. The same company, Shout Factory, Screen Factory. And there's the back. A couple of nice pictures here, and that's Jim Carrey as a vampire. So that's that one. Next one is uh, con contains another favourite film of mine, and this one is The Hot Spot, starring Don Johnson and Virginia Madsen, and Killing Me Softly. Starring uh, Heather Graham and um, uh, what's his name? Fines, one of the Fines brothers, Joseph Fines. That's him. Both very good films, but these ones are all on one disc, I believe. Yes, they are, but the quality's still really good. Yeah, uh, the the uh, bit rates still pretty decent on these, so the. There's not, not, not much in the way of artifacts well, I didn't spot any anyway. And I watched um, the hotspot on the big screen as well, so it looked really good. 
some people have said in reviews that the, the print looked a bit darker than it did on DVD. But to be honest, I didn't really notice that. It looked fine to me. So anyway, that's... Uh, huh, I'll just show the back. Some nice pictures on the back of this one. From both films there. And you can get the hotspot on its own disc. Uh, I think it's an import from a different country. I forget where. Uh, might have been Italy or somewhere or... Actually, to be honest, I just can't remember offhand. But it was it was uh, it was from a different country. It wasn't USA, I don't think. And I don't think it was the UK. I don't think it's out over here. So that's the hot spot and killing me softly on screen uh, shout factory rather. Next one is another horror film double bill. And this one is Carrie, which is the TV version of Carrie. It's not the Brian De Palma film. It's an entirely different film altogether. And the other one is the sequel to the original Carrie, called Carrie the Rage, Carrie 2. I watched this film recently, The, the Rage, and the picture was uh, very good. The transfer was uh, very sharp and detailed, and it was shot on film, so very impressive indeed. Very good transfer. So I'll just show you the back. There you have it. And the disc inside, the discs rather, both on their own separate discs on this one. As you can see, both got nice artwork on. The next one is another horror movie double bill. Also a region A locked one, I think. And I just watched one of these just the other night. This is um, Bad Dreams. And visit now as and bad dreams come out just come out not long ago here in the UK on its own standalone disc. So this is um, a double feature, and both these films are on one disc. Uh, they share a disc together. And visit visit now as is a very good um horror sort of thriller film about a uh, a guy who tries to kill this uh, TV news reader. Um, tries to kill her, he attacks her and he thinks he has done her in and then he finds out later on she's survived and he goes to the hospital where she is to try and fin finish her off and it stars Michael Ironside who's probably most famous for starring in V, the TV series and um, Total Recall and he was also in Prom Night 2, Hello Mary Lou he was in there as well and a few other things but he plays the killer, the psych psychopath in this film and he does a really good job of it. And then he had he actually had some hair in this film as well. Back in the days when Michael Ironside actually had hair. So that shows you how old this film is. It was made in 1982. But the transfer is really, really good on this one. Very good transfer. I was well impressed with it. It's obviously been digitally remastered. The picture is very bright, colourful. And it's just a just very impressive image, you know. Very very sharp and detailed. So that's uh, Bad Dreams, and that Bad Dreams stars Richard Lynch, and if you don't know who Richard Lynch is, he's kind of this, well he's dead, dead now, but uh, he's disfigured, because he had some, got burned years ago, something to do with drugs or something, I forget, he was doing something and he set himself on fire or something, and it was, uh, due to his appearance he often played like bad, cat, bad guys in films and TV shows like Starsky and Hutch and Battlestar Galactica and stuff. And he's the main actor in this one, along with uh, Bruce Abbott and Jennifer. What's her name? Jennifer something. Jennifer Rubin. That's it. So he has the back cover of this one. Just a couple of pictures on there. A bit of information about each film. And these ones share the same disc. There you go. So that's Bad Dreams and Visit Now as. Region A import. This is also another Scream Factory one. Right next we have a thriller double, well sort of a drama stroke thriller double feature. This one's Open Water and Open Water 2. Um, both are very good films in my opinion. I, I enjoyed, enjoyed most uh, both of them just as much I think as each other. Um, really good films. And here's the back cover. No pictures on this one, unfortunately. 
I like the ones with the pictures on the best to be honest. And these both share the same disc. No artwork on this one either. And this is another US import. And it's on um I see what is it on? Lionsgate. This is Lionsgate. I don't know if it's region A locked or not. I can't remember, but uh anyway that's that one. Next we have another Clint Eastwood double bill. And this one consists of every which way but loose and any which way you can. Both uh, classic films, of course, with the orangutan and Clint Eastwood. And Jeffrey Lewis, the late, great Jeffrey Lewis, also stars on these in these films. When, um, I think it's his, is it his brother or something? Anyway, he has the discs, both on that, uh, their own discs. I must point out the transfers on these ones. Well, I've only watched the first one. But uh, the transfer wasn't very good. It was kind of dark and not very detailed and stuff. Bit of a disappointment, really, for Blu-ray, I must admit. And here's the uh, back cover. I don't think it had been digitally remastered by the looks of things, unfortunately. So that's the back cover of that one. So that's every which way but loose, and any which way you can. Next we have another Mill Creek one, which I missed last time when I did my Mill, Mill Creek double feature collection. And this one is Bruce Willis in The Colour of Night and David Duchovny in Playing God. I didn't enjoy Playing God too much, but I enjoyed The Colour of Night. That was a good one, but the transfer wasn't the greatest. But I didn't watch it in 1080 pixels, I watched it in 720 pixels, but still it didn't look too good. Too good. It didn't look um, like it had been remastered or cleaned up or anything. But anyway, that's that one, and here's the back. Few nice, nice pictures there. The small ones. And I'll show you the disc. These both share the same disc. The disc there. So that's the color of night and playing God. The next one is um. Sort of, um, can I describe it like a sort of epic double feature? Like, anyway, I'll just show you it. This one is Troy and um, 10,000 BC. Um, I haven't watched these two yet, so I don't know what the transfers are like. But I think I read about this one, it's supposed to have a pretty good transfer. This uh, Troy one, starring Brad Pitt, of course. And Eric Banner. And the other one, I forget who's in it. Um, Camilla Bell's in it, I know that much. I don't know who else is in it all offhand. But it's from the director of Independence Day. It's a while since I watched that film a long time ago. I watched it on DVD, or I think it was on DVD or something. I forget now. But anyway, here's a shot of the back. Just a couple of pictures on that one and the discs they're both on their own disc inside so that's 10,000 BC in Troy and this is a UK one UK blu-ray next one is another US import and it's on um, Universal this time and this one is a couple of Bruce Willis films which are Mercury Rising and The Jackal, also starring Richard Gere. 